up, everybody? Robert Sykes, KetoSavage.com. Crystal Love. Why do you do that every time? Crystal Love. KetoSavage.com. KetoSavage.com. I guess Come that's on. what I'm supposed to say. He's supposed to represent. All right. Today, since it's October, sliding on into fall season, weather's getting nice and chilly. I'm even wearing long sleeves to cover up my big arms. Uh, <laughs> but getting a little colder outside, we're thinking a little bit more, you know, homey, warm, tasty. We had chili the other day. Now we're gonna do soup. Everybody likes soup. And I, and soup is really filling. So if you're like craving a lot of, uh, or you're, you're hungry to eat something fill you up, soup's always a good go-to bet. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, and I've actually been craving this for so long. Yeah. And I'm uh, really stoked about it. And if you've ever like, you know, since you started keto, you crave soup, and you go to the soup aisle at the grocery store, we have literally looked at every single can of soup and not a single one is keto friendly because they've all got a ton of sugar in there. Also in like every single store. Yeah, like every <laughs> single can and every single store. So if you haven't done that yet, we'll save you the trouble and tell you that there's not one keto friendly option out there. At least I haven't found one. If y'all have, let me know. But, um, so we decided to make our own keto soup. And we're doing broccoli and cheese soup because everybody likes broccoli and cheese. So, the ingredients for this soup are as follows. Six ounces of cheese. And you can probably use whatever cheese you want. We're using a Colby Jack cheddar blend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we're using. Uh, three cups of broccoli. And you have the broccoli, maybe the egg bag. I'm all about simplicity when it comes to broccoli. So we get this, uh, we go to Sam's Club and get this big honking bag. And what I like about this, that they all come in like little microwavable things and you can just stick to the microwave for six minutes um, and then steam it, cook it, good to go. Um, and we, then... We mentioned that we're not big on frozen foods but literally it's just for like, Yeah, you gotta be careful. A lot of frozen foods have like preservatives and stuff in there. That one's a frozen food that's just broccoli. Um, I think they're like flash frozen so they don't have to add anything to it to keep it, you know, fresh. Um, Two cups of bone broth, and then be careful on your bone broth. Make sure it's just quality bone broth. Bone broth also has a lot of micronutrients in it and a lot of electrolytes, so good thing to incorporate into the diet. And then three quarter cups of heavy cream and two ounces of cream cheese. You probably don't have to add the cream cheese, but cream cheese makes everything tasty. And uh, I think you're just gonna make it like creamy. Yeah, creamy and thick. We've we not, we not made this one. Not this one. I have made soup before, but it turned out almost like a gravy, and so I thought, like, with that texture, I think it'll be better with uh, the cream cheese in it. Yeah, everything's better with cream cheese. And with these macros, with these ingredients, <laughs> the macros break down to... 2,075 calories, 195 grams of fat, 67 grams of protein, 13 grams of carbs, um, six of which are coming from fiber, uh, which breaks down to 85% fat, 13% protein, and 2% carbs. And, and real quick, somebody asked on the pizza uh, video that we did, are these macros for the entire thing? Yes, they are. That's not per serving. The the pizza macros, that's for the whole pizza, just as the soup macros is for the whole batch. So if you wanted to cut this in half, cut your macros in half. Um, if you're doing like kind of like a if you're being flexible and you're not like counting your macros, you can go off of ours. But if you're being strict, you need to do it off of your your brands and what you're doing. So I would still break it down for yourself, but this is probably going to be your average. Yes, average. But this meal is far from average because we're extraordinary. Isn't that right? That's right. All right, let's make this thing. you flexed your biceps is to get your heavy cream and your bone broth put it in a pot on high heat and get that warmed up boom check it out let that start simmering all right 
right, so once that's uh, warmed up a bit, you wanna add in your cream cheese, get that melted in there. All right, so once you have added the cream cheese and you got that melted in a little bit, you're gonna wanna add your seasonings and your broccoli next. I have already chopped this up into smaller pieces that the size that I like in my soup. And then you want to turn it on um, like a simmer and you want it to sit for about 10 to 20 minutes or until your broccoli is soft and exactly how you like it. Alright, now put your heat on low. This has been simmering for about 10 minutes or so. That broccoli and the seasoning, it's all kind of like melded together and become soft and tasty. Now, if we add the cheese, this is important. You gotta add a little bit at a time, let it kind of melt in between adding, or else it's gonna get clumpy. We don't want clumpy. So, that's what she looks like so far. Here's our cheese. Just add a little bit at a time, sprinkle that in there, give it a stir. Add a little bit more, sprinkle that in there and give it a stir and do this until all your cheese is melted and all your cheese is in the pot. Alright, this is what we're looking like at the end here. Everything's all melted, everything's all simmered, and all the flavors have meshed and become something beautiful. So now I'm going to go ahead and pour it over into this bowl. Uh, that's my serving. <laughs> All right, the broccoli cheese soup is done. The taste testing time has arrived. What do you think? Does it look like broccoli cheese soup? I think it looks pretty good. It smells pretty good. It passes the smell test. That's, pretty mm, that's good. really good, actually. I haven't had soup in so long, so this is like satisfying my craving for soup really well. This is so good. By the that's way, we use, what do we use for seasoning? Onion powder? Um, I use a garlic powder, salt, pink Himalayan sea salt, um, some pepper, and then that mix. Crazy. Just whatever you want. Yeah, it's, it's just like pretty much garlic and onion powder is what I would use with salt and pepper. It's so good. This is really good. I think it's important to like let it simmer for a pretty good while. We we'll probably let it simmer for 20 minutes total, something like that. Yeah. We'll let those flavors mesh. Make but. sure that you're like seriously slowly adding the cheese. Like wait till it melts till you add more. That's gonna be your trick. Otherwise, it's gonna be really clumpy. I've done that before. This is pretty good though. Mm -hmm. I have to make this more often. I know. And it's like fall and winter's coming and I love warm deliciousness. This is a thumbs up for sure. Yeah. Alright, until next time. <laughs>